This video is all about fixing low GPU usage and stopping the hidden window settings that secretly limit your graphics card and kill your FPS. If your games feel slow, your GPU refuses to hit full load, or your frame rate keeps dropping for no clear reason, you will learn exactly what to change to unlock your system's real performance. Stick around until the end so you do not miss any of the important tweaks, and make sure to subscribe for more guides that boost your gaming experience. So guys, in the first step, we are going to adjust the Windows Multimedia Scheduler through the registry. This system component decides how Windows distributes priority. By reconfiguring it, you can stop Windows from silently limiting your GPU and dragging down your FPS. Start by opening your Windows search bar and typing registry editor. Right click the result and run it as administrator. When it opens, copy the full registry path that I place in the video description and paste it into the address bar at the top. Press enter so Windows jumps directly to the correct folder. On the right side of that window, you will see several entries. If any of them are missing, simply right click, choose new, and create either a string value or a Dward 32-bit value depending on what is required. Set each entry exactly like this. First, double click on Affinity, set the value to F, and make sure base is hexadecimal. This locks your game to the first four logical CPU cores, which improves thread scheduling and reduces micro stutters. Next, background only. Set the value to zero with a decimal. This makes sure your game is always treated as a foreground task. Now open GPU priority and set its value to E, and make sure the base is hexadecimal. This pushes additional GPU scheduling power toward your game instead of allowing background visuals to take it. Now guys, double click on priority, choose the base decimal, and set the value to 6. This gives the game a stronger CPU scheduling weight. Now guys, open scheduling category and set its value to high. This instructs Windows to treat your game as a high priority process. And finally, open the SFIO priority and set its value also high. This improves file and texture streaming, which help keep GPU usage steady during fast movement or heavy loading moments. After you finish entering everything, review each value to make sure it is correct and then close the registry editor. Once these changes are applied, Windows will stop bottlenecking your GPU and will start treating your game as a top priority. In the next step guys, we are going to shut down power throttling. This feature is buried deep inside Windows and it quietly limits CPU and GPU activity to save power which can create unstable GPU usage, random downclocking, and lower FPS without you realizing it. Start by pressing Windows plus R to open the run box. Type gpedit.msc and press enter to launch the local group policy editor. Once it opens, follow this path exactly. Computer configuration, administrative templates, system, power management, then power throttling settings. Inside that folder, double click the option called Turn Off Power Throttling. Windows usually leaves this set to not configured, which means your system is free to throttle your hardware whenever it decides power needs to be saved. Change the setting to Enabled, then click Apply and OK to confirm the change. By enabling that policy, you are telling Windows to stop interfering with your performance. Your CPU can maintain its full clock speeds. Your GPU will not get restricted during heavy gameplay, and your system will stay focused on performance instead of power savings. Now guys, if you're struggling with lag or high ping in your games, Gear Up Booster is the ultimate fix. Here's how it works. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. 
On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. Roblox, Fortnite, or any game. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Nod tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. All right guys, now we are going into the GPU control panel settings. I am demonstrating everything with the NVIDIA control panel, although the same types of options exist in AMD and Intel software, so you can follow along even if your menu layout looks different. Open your search bar, type NVIDIA control panel, then open it. Once the window appears, look at the menu on the left and select Manage 3D Settings. This section controls how your graphics card behaves during gameplay, so it has a big impact on low GPU usage problems. Begin under the Global Settings tab and scroll until you find Power Management Mode. Windows usually sets this to Adaptive or Optimal Power, and both of those modes allow the GPU to downclock the moment Windows decides. Full performance is not needed. That can lock your usage at half load even while the game is struggling. Change this setting to prefer maximum performance, which keeps the GPU in its highest performance state whenever a game is active. Find low latency mode and switch it to ultra. When this is off or set to normal, the CPU prepares too many frames ahead of time and the GPU ends up waiting instead of working. Ultra cuts down that queue and feeds frames to your GPU much faster, which increases workload and raises total usage. Next, locate vertical sync and set it to off. V-Sync forces the GPU to match the monitor refresh rate, and once the cap is reached, the GPU simply stops rendering extra frames. This makes usage appear artificially low. Turning V-Sync off lets the GPU work at full speed without being held back. Then scroll to Threaded Optimization and turn it on. This allows the driver to use multiple CPU threads for communication instead of relying on a single thread. If this setting is disabled, data arrives more slowly, which can reduce GPU load and cause stutters. With it enabled, the GPU receives data more efficiently. After applying these changes, click Apply at the bottom. Once the global settings are updated, switch to the Program Settings tab. Click Add, select the game executable, and apply the same options for that specific title, including maximum performance for power management, ultra for low latency mode, off for vSync, and on for threaded optimization. Doing this prevents Windows or other applications from overriding your global settings. With these adjustments, you remove the performance restrictions that hold your GPU back. Instead of running at low percentages, your graphics card will stay active, deliver higher frame rates, and maintain smoother gameplay across all your titles. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching, and if these tweaks helped your GPU reach its full potential, be sure to hit subscribe for more performance boosts.